Hello everyone, I am Sujata, founder of Grace USMLE and USMLE author at Achievable. Today, I would like to discuss how to localize the level of stroke lesions. The first thing to do is to differentiate whether it is a cortical or non-cortical stroke. Cortical signs may arise from the left or the dominant hemisphere or the right hemisphere. Aphasia and apraxia are the cortical signs of the left or the dominant hemisphere. Visuospatial apraxia and hemi neglect are the signs of right lobe or the non-dominant hemisphere involvement. Hemianopia is the last sign of cortical stroke. Cortical strokes may be due to involvement of the anterior, middle, or posterior cerebral artery. In the image, the cortical areas supplied by the anterior cerebral artery are labeled in yellow. Those supplied by the middle cerebral artery are labeled in red, while those supplied by the posterior cerebral artery are labeled in blue. We can diagnose which cortical artery is involved by looking for some key signs. ACA strokes show weakness or paresis of the contralateral lower leg. MCA strokes present with contralateral hemiparesis, aphasia, and hemineglect. PCA strokes present with contralateral homonymous hemianopia with macular sparing. Now, a few things about lacunar strokes. These are small infarcts that are caused by hypertension and diabetes due to atherosclerotic changes in the penetrating branches of the major cerebral blood vessels. Lacunar infarcts cause pure motor or pure sensory strokes with the absence of cortical signs. Brainstem strokes present as stroke syndromes because of cranial nerve involvement. Look for signs of cranial nerve deficits ipsilateral Horner's syndrome and cerebellar signs, and at the same time, contralateral hemiparesis. Cranial nerve third and fourth involvement is seen in midbrain lesions. Nerves five to eight involvement is seen in pontine lesions, and nerves nine, 10, and 12 involvement is seen in medullary lesions. Medullary stroke syndromes may be medial or lateral syndromes. Medial medullary syndrome is due to involvement of the ASA or the vertebral artery. It presents with contralateral medial lemniscus and corticospinal tract signs. Contralateral hemiplegia, deviation of tongue towards the side of lesion, and contralateral loss of proprioception is seen. Lateral medullary syndrome or Wallenberg syndrome is due to involvement of the PICA artery, which is posterior inferior cerebellar artery, or the vertebral artery. It classically presents with bulbar signs, such as dysphagia, hoarseness of voice, and decreased gag reflex, along with contralateral spinothalamic signs. Look for crossed sensory loss, which means loss of sensation from ipsilateral face and loss of pain and temperature sensation from contralateral body. You can easily remember this syndrome by the Pokemon character Pikachu. Pika stands for posterior inferior cerebellar artery, and the CHU stands for bulbar sign of dysphagia. Lateral pontine syndrome is due to involvement of AIC, which is the anterior inferior cerebellar artery, or by circumferential branches of the basilar artery. Look for facial signs like ipsilateral loss of sensation on the face and scalp, paralysis of jaw muscles with deviation of jaw, towards the side of lesion, and a lower motor neuron facial nerve palsy. Last but not the least are two important syndromes, Weber syndrome and pontocerebellar angle syndrome. Weber syndrome is also called as medial midbrain syndrome. It is due to involvement of the thalamo perforating branches of the posterior cerebral artery. It presents with contralateral hemiplegia and ipsilateral third or oculomotor nerve palsy signs such as ptosis, dilated pupils, diplopia, external strabismus, loss of direct light reflex, and loss of accommodation reflex. Pontocerebellar angle syndrome is due to tumors or masses growing in the cerebellopontine angle, like schwannomas, meningiomas, or aneurysms, which involve the cranial nerves 5, 7, and 8. Classically, cranial nerve 8 is involved first with tinnitus, sensory neural hearing loss, dizziness, loss of balance presenting first. Later on, there is ipsilateral facial muscle weakness and involvement of muscles of mastication. There are no long track signs. Thanks for watching. Hope this video helped to clarify your concepts on localizing level of strokes.